So Chick-fil-A has two brand new items that they released today, and I've got them. Do you want to know what they are? Stay tuned. Howdy fellow foodie friends, welcome to Who's Your Daddy? Thanks for joining me, I'm Matthew, and if you like food reviews and food challenges and food tasting videos, things like that, make sure you are subscribed by hitting that bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So, I am here at Chick-fil-A today, and they've come out with two brand new items. Now they released them both in select markets in different spots in the country, but today is the first day that they've released them nationwide. So you wanna know what they are? If you saw the title, you already know. But the first thing is a mocha cream cold brew. That's right, a mocha cream cold brew. Now I'm a big fan of coffee and flavored coffee especially, and I like mocha, so I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna go ahead and try this. Cheers. Mmm. Holy cow. Wow. That is really sweet. I don't know if you can see that. That is like all chocolate syrup. So they describe this as a cold brew with some sweet cream. You can see that sweet cream in it. And then some chocolate syrup that is all just kind of settled down to the bottom. So when you got your straw in here and you drink, you're drinking straight from the bottom. You're just getting straight chocolate syrup. That was all I tasted. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. It tastes like I'm just drinking just straight from a Hershey syrup bottle. Let me mix this up a little, see if that makes it taste any better. <laughs> Maybe pull the straw up a little so I get some from the middle. Okay, that's a little better. I think because that first taste that I had was straight chocolate syrup, the rest tastes kind of muted. It doesn't taste as strong. I think most of the sweetness is coming from the chocolate syrup. The sweet cream doesn't taste as sweet anyway. Go ahead and mix it up a little more. Okay, once you mix it up, that's not too bad. You get the sweetness from the chocolate syrup to kind of incorporate with the rest of it. That chocolate syrup is definitely the strongest flavor I'm getting. It's the most prominent. Um, the coffee flavor is not that strong. So if you like really sweet coffee, I don't know how many grams of sugar this has in it and how many calories, but you'll definitely like this if you like sweet coffee. If you like stronger, bolder, like coffee flavored coffee that's just like coffee, like chopa, 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 chopa. This probably won't be your jam, which as much as I like flavored coffees, I also like just black, good flavored coffee. And the chocolate syrup and the sweet cream are so overpowering in this, you can't really tell how good the coffee itself is. I mean, it's not bad. Just know what you're getting into before you get it. I'd say if I had to give this a score on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give this about 8.2. It's good because I like chocolate and I like sweet stuff. It's just not the kind of thing I would get on a regular basis. This is more like a dessert. Like <laughs> you get it instead of a shaker. It's like, it's along the lines of like a Frappuccino or something. This is not your go-to everyday coffee. If it's just something you want like that, I wouldn't get it. But if you want it as a special treat or dessert or something, I mean, it, it's worth getting. Just don't expect a real strong coffee flavor. So, like I said, I got two items at Chick-fil-A today because they came out with two brand new items. So I got them both. I'll show you what the other one is. It is a chocolate brownie. Mmm, look, it says, mmm, yum. <laughs> now, I already told you I'm a big fan of chocolate, so I've got high hopes about this. I mean, from the place that brings this really tasty Jesus chicken, I hope that a Jesus brownie is good, too. Now, look at that. That actually looks pretty good. That is thick and chunky. They said it's got uh, big chocolate chunks in it, but that, that has got some girth to it. I'd say that's at least two or three girth units anyway. <laughs> okay, now that is a good brownie. Chick-fil-A really knows how to make stuff taste homemade. That doesn't look like a fancy processed store-bought 
brownie. That looks like something that your grandma would make. It's the same way they did their macaroni and cheese. If you've never had their macaroni and cheese, you need to try Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. It is, oh my gosh, it's like heaven. It's the best, best restaurant mac and cheese I think I've ever had. This is along the same lines. It is like a homemade brownie, nice and thick and fudgy. I mean, look at that. It is super good. It's fudgy. It's not cakey. It's nice and thick. It doesn't have any frosting or any powdered sugar or anything like that. It's just straight up brownie with big chocolate chunks in it. Just pure unadulterated brownie. Nothing fancy to try to make it any different. It just, it is what it is. And that's, that's really good. I don't know what else to say. It's just super fudgy, super chocolatey, super good. So if you want a chocolate overload, get yourself mocha, sweet cream, cold brew, and a brownie. That's enough chocolate to last you a couple of weeks at least. That is really good. If you want a chocolate fix, this really hits the spot. Chick-fil-A, good job. This is super good. I'd say I have to give this a score 9.2. That's really good. Yeah, I like that a lot. So don't forget, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up down below and subscribe if you're not already. If you wanna be part of the fellow foodie friend family, you can do that just by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on social media. And I will see you again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye. Mm. <laughs>